Alright guys, so we are back on the JP version of using Gage because uh, last week, I, um, I'm a little bit late on covering this, but last week we have a new raid for JP. So the raid is actually in this right here and Gundam type unit got a massive boost in terms of the equipment. So let me actually show you guys what the equipment looks like. So... The equipment is actually just the same as what we have been getting for the red mobile suits and then for the Xeon affiliated tags, whatever. So it's going to be this one. I'm just going to give you guys a quick reference of what it actually does. So the conjure right there, this is for Gunna type and whenever EX is activated, you can get up to a 20% stack and then up to a hundred K damage cap up. So this is actually pretty useful for any of the older unit that does not innately have damage cap increase. So this is actually really good. But for a unit like this that I'm looking at, that already has like a good 600,000 and then 18 K right there or 1.8 mil is not going to make the most impactful uh, thing in the world but when you take a look at some older unit that does not have it that is going to be very impactful and that will probably drastically boost whatever damage they could do but you know ultimately is they will not rival to any of these units but when you're reading the first portion like the basic skill i'm mean, like what's so special about it it's just like a good old 20 percent. but wait there's actually more and when we take a look at the special ability, like the skill, uh, the sub, sub one and sub two, it gets even better. So the first portion for Gundam type, when battle begins, you're actually getting an, a, another instance of 14% increase as well. So this one is the um, accuracy and this one is the extra damage. So extra up to 14% damage and up to 14% accuracy. So that is really, really strong. So base, you're getting up to 40% because you can stack up to two times and you can get up to another 14% instant. So in total, you're getting up to 54%. So that in my opinion, in, in some form or fashion does kind of rival some of the other ones that we do have actually um, Especially when we take a look at let's say red for the instance. We have this one This one is for red mobile suit specifically and for 20 seconds every time you activate EXQ 30% but the problem with this one is uh, the 20% duration is actually a little bit you know uh, harder to fulfill because you in some certain circumstances you may not be able to activate the ex skill back to back to back like that so this one is actually a teeny tiny bit better and the other one we have that does not require you to stack a lot is this one which already we already have so this one is two uh, up to two times 20 percent but in terms of the others, uh, sub one and sub two, you're not getting extra damage increase. So in my opinion, this one thus far is one of the better options. So what I'm gonna do, I am gonna show you guys how impactful this one is. So <clears throat> as far as any other unit that I have on the roster, I am going to give it its original equipment except for Sinanju or any other unit that are not Gundam type because this one has a song already. Like, uh, near the B2 right here. I'm using this one, but we will go ahead and use whatever the best one we have for the blue element before and then we're gonna prop this one on so I mean it should definitely make a drastic difference in some form of fashion for sure even this one this one oh <laughs> this one may be a very very good um, comp competition right here because this doesn't actually allow you to stack three times up to 18% three times so that is like a good 56% if my map is no 54 actually my bad so it's actually the same but that one is a little bit better because it also does have damage cap increase so it definitely depends on the modules that you have but this one is definitely a very competitive one as well so we have that but without any further ado i am going to reconstruct the team i'm not going to be showcasing up the mark 2 the quibbly mark 2 for you guys because i do want to wait until we do have the gear 2 system activated for this unit so i might actually push back review on this unit just a little bit 
but this one I actually did uh, exchange for it so uh, I'll definitely do like a showcase whenever I do have that fully done as far as upgrading but other than that I am just going to be hopping into some regular co-ops to test out that new equipment and they already make the comparison and then we'll see the final results all right so we will be facing off against penelope i think penelope penelope probably is a okay so i think we will just uh, fight off against penelope probably i don't know if i'll call penelope an easier target to take care of but uh let's kind of see how fast we can kind of do damage to Penelope. I'm kind of interested to see how fast this will go. But um, if this does take a little bit longer than what I want things to be, I might just kind of skip ahead and probably catch up with you guys once we are like, you know, towards like the last 1% of the HP bar. Just because I know this might take a long time. No, I mean, it's actually going by pretty decent, I guess. But I mean, those are pretty much the relative damage for the other units. And as far as how we would compare things, I think we would just kind of take a look at the overall timer. And that should kind of give us a decent indication of how good the module is, I feel like. Yeah, that, that should probably do it, I feel like, yeah. And Penelope is going down pretty fast. That's good, all right. I'll, I'll take it, I'll take it. All right. And that's it. I, I think we did it pretty fast, actually. Holy, that's good. All right, only oh, that's why the HP is not <laughs> too beefy for this unit. So only four hundred fifty million. I I mean, I wanted to take on, let's say, for our unicorn, but I mean, I'm, I I was afraid we might take extra longer actually. But we did it within eight, uh one eighteen, so that's pretty respectable. So. I guess now we can hop back in with the other equipment and then we shall see if there's any improvement or not. So I did a, a ready change to the other equipment. So I mean, immediately we should see a sizable increase We are because we are getting damage have increased. So we're also getting just a base uh, up to 14% in general. So I mean, like we should be seeing some damage spike just way early into the fight and potentially that should lead us to taking down the enemy a tad faster I, I assume so i think the most important thing that i am going to be looking out for is definitely going to be just the overall um timer wise i think that that will always give me a good indication obviously i mean i think we are actually are we i think like when i'm when i'm taking a look at narrative b2 over here like we are doing even more damage with the EX skill and <laughs> that is insane. All right, I think we're almost done. And get an increased accuracy as well with that equipment. Yeah, it's pretty bonkers for sure. All right, that's it, let's see. I feel like it's faster, but at the same time, I don't feel like it is because usually when changing things out like this, it usually has a bigger impact to the whole formation leading to like just like a domino effect of like oh if you change this and that and it's gonna affect everything so let's see 112 huh i mean did we just say we did better can we can we just say that i guess i'll i'll, I'll let it let it slide in a way because i mean we technically did finish things up six seconds faster and I mean, if we were to magnify this even bigger into like a boss that has extra HP, that would definitely allow this equipment to pull ahead even further because we just have more damage built into it. But I mean, other than that, that is going to be pretty much it in terms of taking a look at this new equipment. Definitely a well-deserved category to get one because we already have one for both red and mobile suits and for Xeon. So I mean, like. It's, it's just about time to give us something for, you know, the protagonists, you know, the Gundam type. So we definitely got what we needed. But other than that, that is going to be it for me. And I'll be catching you guys on the next one.